Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Larissa, if you're new to the channel. Really happy to see you back on the channel. Hope you're, you're doing well. And uh, in today's episode, I'm gonna be covering one of the very interesting topics that I noticed in a recent release, and it is about adding an in-app guidance. And uh, in-app guidance has been uh, in Salesforce for a very long time, but there's something new. There are targeted prompts that you can move around the page. And uh, I think it is interesting. It isn't as flexible that you could just drag and drop wherever you want. However, there is some more flexibility around it. As before, it was very static and uh, you couldn't really select the specific place. However, they have uh, recently released and made some changes and it looks very interesting. Wanted to share with you as well. And maybe you'll be using this later or on any new sales users or anyone who is going to be using your platform just to show them some information. As always, I'm in one of my Salesforce uh, playgrounds and and I'm going to be testing leads. I have opened the leads uh, record and I'm here in details page. And I'm thinking about trying the uh, in-app prompt and perhaps leaving it somewhere here on the side. Let's see how it's going to work out. I haven't tested it on leads before. And uh, it, is a, it is a quite new thing for me as well. I have tested however just recently as well targeted prompt and I moved it around the case page layout. Now to start with let's just click add new prompt and as you can see it has redirected us to an in-app guidance builder and it's very interesting very similar to lighting app builder uh, we have here as well options now what you need to do is to select the object and in my case that's leads leads object select the object and open it will open the page I'm going to, you can add a prompt anywhere on the, on the page right here. And I'm going to specifically open the record page and the details. And once, once you're ready, when you know where you want to leave your prompt and in-app in -app guidance, then uh, select the add button and uh, uh, choose as well, whether you want to select a single prompt or a walkthrough. I'm going to select a single prompt for this for this video and uh, we have floating and docked prompt which were already for quite a long time with Salesforce and there is a new one targeted prompt. Now if I select targeted prompt and uh, just scroll down you can see there is a prompt position and uh, a new thing that I've noticed recently is a targeting mode. Now, if I select targeting mode, I can scroll down. You can see uh, these uh, canvas have been highlighted and uh, I want to leave it somewhere here. I have to select it and click on the page, Let's say here. You can see the prompt has appeared. It is lower than, than I want it to be. Now, if I select custom positioning now, I have my prompt there and I move it to the top. You can see it has moved to the very top. And if I move it to the right side, if I drag and drop, it will show an error message. We can't save the prompt in this position. And please use custom positioning that you can see here on the right. That's why these canvas were highlighted as it is looking for the corners, the center part, the very bottom part, the middle center part, uh, then the left center and right part. This should be all right. These are the options we have and uh, it is already an advancement. It is uh, more than we had before. And once you're happy with the positioning, then you can also select the theme color and uh, it doesn't mean that you can select all colors or any color you want. There is a theme. You can either leave it at this color or change it to a dark mode and it is uh, grayed out, very, very dark or full of color, but in a dark mode or light mode, the one that you just saw previously. Then we can see how the, the message is. The messaging icon is changing color. It is very, very dark, a little bit. It has some color, dark gray, 
and blue. Now, if I leave it on blue and with dark mode and click next, now I can type in the title. And uh, let's say for me, the title would be, remember to fill in important contact details. All right, that will be a reminder. And you can also add media. Uh, you can op upload an image. If there is something that you're showing that is completely new, you can create a screenshot and uh, then add a little screenshot to your in-app guidance, this little bubble or link to an image with a URL. And buttons, you can also either, we can rename this button to OK. So when they have read and understood, they can just simply close this bubble with the pressing OK button. And uh, then I'm going to save this. All right, so for the purpose of this video, I'm happy with the, this little test bubble. You can as well add actions, that would be a URL, Maybe you want to redirect to another record, um, to their account page or anything else. Then copy and paste this. Uh, let's say you are in a, in a specific account page. Copy paste the URL into these two boxes and click save or click next. I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to do anything in here. I'm going to click next and the scheduling. You can decide when to start these in-app guidance bubbles and the tutorials i'm going to start today and let's say i'm going to end it next week it's going to be um, every day for one week and yes i wanted to show when the page loads and i wanted to show let's say three times three times and one day in between so i'm going to click next profiles i will apply it to all profiles you can select any specific profiles permissions as well. I selected all permissions, but you can specify these permissions and uh, details. So you just have to name the name of this in-app guidance prompt, and I will name it as lead, lead info. That should be all right. And you can also uh, read only, you can, uh, you can copy a shareable URL and then click save and click done when it's ready. Now that should be ready. Now if I go back to my lead, lead and refresh the page, I should have, uh, we should see the prompt appear within a few seconds. On the details page, all right, it is actually, it is not targeting specifically details, but the entire Canva. And now that I have moved to details page, you can see it is in the middle. So I can't really drag and drop. I have to specify either it is a top, bottom, uh, right, left, center part, and then it will appear. It is still very good. It is better than only in the corner of the page, you can specify canvas. I could have selected only the related uh, related records or even somewhere on the path or on the uh, highlights panel. Now it is right here, it works. And uh, I can also as a user, I, I can snooze it for 20 minutes, one hour, three hours tomorrow, next week, or just close it. And if you remember as an administrator, I selected to show this prompt three times with the one day break. Uh, I hope you found this video useful with the latest um, latest improvement from Salesforce side. They have actually added some flexibility around in-app prompts and where to place them. So you have to select a specific Canva and then you can target Canva. You can't really drag and drop this prompt, but uh, you can select either top, bottom, right, left, or the center part where you want to leave the prompt and uh, also set up the timing how many times per day you want to you want this prompt to appear and your users can also snooze it for a specific period of time as you know this can be a very useful tool if you are onboarding any new users and you don't really 
didn't really have enough of material to share with them and you have so much to show that these in-app prompts will be very useful for you and for your users. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye.